first of this month's reconstructions. It's a crime that's been in the news again tonight. It was a week ago that Karen Hadaway and Nicola Fellows went missing. At about this time, search parties were setting out to look for them. Sussex police have helped us with the family's consent to reconstruct what's known so far. It may be that their killer was a local man, perhaps he even knew the girls, but he could have come from anywhere at all. What's not in doubt is that last Thursday, he was in Brighton. The Moolscombe estate lies across the A27 Brighton to Lewis Road. Just opposite is Wild Park. This is where last Friday afternoon, two local teenagers had come to search the undergrowth in response to police appeals for help. And this is where they found the bodies of the two girls in a play den deep inside the undergrowth. Right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The information from the public continues to flow in. It's now day five of the inquiry. Of that, we increased the team again today. We seem to be increasing it almost daily now. This is the largest investigation in Sussex since the Brighton bombing. Already 10,000 people have been interviewed and 4,000 homes have been visited. A number of new sightings of the two girls up until about 6.30 p.m. Unfortunately, we still have not got a sighting of these girls going into that park. Newick Road, East Moolscombe. At five last Thursday afternoon, the girls were playing with a group of friends outside a neighbor's house. Soon after, they made their way from Newick Road here across the A27 to Wild Park. A park policeman clearly remembers seeing them, even though the girls were forbidden to come here by their parents. 5.15 last Thursday, I was walking through the park. I saw two girls under the tree, swinging on the tree. I approached them and told them after what they was, getting, what they was doing up there. Now, come on, what are you doing up there? Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. That was 5.15, and this is the last precise timing police have. Sometime in the next half hour, the girls crossed back over the main A27. At roughly quarter to six, they were outside the fish and chip shop in Barkham Road. Next, they were seen going down the subway that leads back to the Wild Park side of the road. It was now six to 6.15. From the subway, they must have headed up Coldean Lane towards another fish and chip shop. This girl, 16-year-old Tracy Cox, is the next witness. She noticed the girls, whom she knew, outside the shop, and as she left, she spoke to them. Tracy then walked with them back over the main road and into the estate. Police are anxious to establish precise timings. The three girls passed the playground near Barkham Place. Could you have seen them there? Nicola, with the dark hair, was wearing a very bright pink sweatshirt. Isn't it about time you two are going home now? Yeah, yeah. Tracy says she left them near the end of Ringma Road, not far from where they lived. By now, it was getting dark, and both girls' parents had been looking for them. This girl, Michelle Tippett, was coming down Barkham Road after delivering papers on the estate. Right, where are you going? Oh, we're going to Wild Park. All right, you better tell your mum first. No. Michelle met them at roughly 6.25. Come on, Karen. One minute. <clears throat> I'll see you later. Bye. After that, they crossed the road again, and at about 6.30, they were seen outside the entrance to the park. My Karen wouldn't go off with any strangers. It had to be somebody that the Nicola and Karen both knew, both trusted, and it's very important for everybody, not just necessarily people on this estate, but on all the estates in Brighton, if you know something, no matter how small it seems to you, to the police, it's very important. Just get in touch with them. Ring them anonymously, you know, if you must do. 
anything, no matter how small, please just get in touch with them because it could save the life of somebody else's child. John McConnell, there can't be many more distressing crimes you've had to investigate. No, this was a particularly horrific offence of murder committed against two, two children of tender years and both were indecently assaulted just prior to their death. I'm therefore appealing to anybody that saw these two girls in the Wild Park or Moles Coombe area after 5 p.m. on Thursday last, the 9th of October. I'm also appealing for anybody who was in the Wild Park area or Moles Coombe area of Brighton during that period and who have not yet come and seen us and told us what they were doing. Now, you announced today that two young men were seen running away from that park. That was about 7 o'clock, 7.30 that evening? Yes, there were two youths seen by two separate people coming away from the Wild Park area at approximately 7.30 p.m. last Thursday, the 9th of October, and we're very anxious to get them to come forward so that they can be eliminated from the inquiry. Now, they might be completely innocent, of course, just running away, larking around. They might have been late for something, and they might be a little reluctant after all this publicity to come forward, thinking, oh, we're going to be in for some pretty tough questioning. Yes, that's quite true, but it's essential that they do come forward so that we can eliminate them and then get on with looking at other people who might be more significant in the inquiry. Obviously, it's going to waste hundreds of man-hours if they don't come forward voluntarily as well. Yes, we've had a very t big team of officers on this inquiry, and, of course, we're anxious to uh, use their resources in the best way possible. Now, there was an appeal some time ago about a man who'd been cruising in, I think it was a blue car, a couple of weeks before this incident, and it was thought that he might have been trying to solicit small girls. Yes, that's true. Um, we've been trying to establish the identity of a man who, approximately three weeks ago, tried to uh, inveigle a young girl into his car, which was a blue car, and as yet we haven't traced this man. He was said to be approximately 25 years of age. He had ginger hair, and of course we are again very anxious to trace him so that, again, perhaps he can be eliminated from the inquiry also. Well, please remember, if you can help in any way, it might be that someone's moved in to you near where you live who uh, you think might have been in Brighton at the time. It might have been somebody local about whom you have suspicions. It doesn't matter where you live. If you can call us, you might prevent what happened to Karen and Nicola from happening again. The number here in the studio, here it is, 01811 0811 8055, or you can call the incident room in Brighton directly, 0273 606 744. That's 0273 606 744.